Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about backyard gardening in general as a habit, as a lifestyle, as whatever you want it to be. It's no secret that the past year has been completely insane, ridiculous, obnoxious, out of control, lonely, surprising, shocking, stupid, inconvenient, unprecedented, sad, scary, and also completely eye-opening. While there are a lot of negative connotations to 2020, there's also some positives. We've learned to be home more. We've learned to make do with the things that we've had. We've learned to appreciate each other. We have learned to appreciate modern conveniences when they're available. We have also learned to grow gardens. Many people last year who have never even touched a shovel before decided that they were going to start a garden. So in March of 2020, when things were crazy and shutting down, grocery store shelves were empty. I'm not even going to mention the and there was very little food to choose from. Tons of people, very little food. Now, I'm not saying that's ever gonna happen again, and I'm not here to be a fear monger or to be like, everybody needs to start growing their own food and move to a compound and move off the grid and learn how to collect your own rainwater. Like, while I think some of those things are good, um, that's not what this video is about. Starting out with empty store shelves last year in March and ending now with rising lumber prices, rising hardware prices, and a difficulty in finding many of the things that we are accustomed to finding in the store. There's very low inventory, and what you can find is often much more expensive than it was this time last year. Our supply chain has been massively disrupted, and just the general economy has been greatly impacted by the changes we've undergone this past year. So what is the new normal, and is gardening part of the new normal? I think it is. I think more people than ever have decided to start trying to grow food in their own backyards, and there's so many benefits to that. If you think you're a brown thumb or you think you're a black thumb, let me tell you, I get messages and questions from people all the time, regularly. Probably one of the most regular things that I hear is, oh, I would love to start a garden, but I have a black thumb. I would love to grow my own food, but I kill everything I touch and things of this nature. It takes time to learn to garden. So you're not a black thumb. You just don't know what you're doing. It's not a big deal. It takes time and effort and trials and errors and absorbing knowledge from other gardeners and using the free resources that you have right here on YouTube or utilizing a really good gardening journal. It takes all of these practices and tools to hone in your skills and to get good at growing food and to know what you're doing. You know, permaculture environment. The absolute best piece of advice that I can give you in starting your gardening endeavor is to do it. Start. Grow a garden. Stop trying to decide whether you want to or whether you're not going to or whether it's worth the investment or all these things. Grow the garden. Start small. Build maybe one raised bed. Watch my previous video about how much stuff you can cram into a small space. I'll link it down below. And get an idea of just how much you can grow in a very small space. If you don't have space for a raised bed, start some containers. You can totally do it. You can grow food in containers. It's doable. People do it all the time. So if you came here for gardening advice or you came to find out if gardening is the new normal, I'm telling you, it is. People need to learn this valuable life skill. And the absolute best thing that you can do for yourself is to start. Start gardening. If you keep thinking, I don't want to invest in it, maybe I'll do it next year. What I want to tell you right now is that right now, you have a whole year and a whole growing season ahead of you to learn a lot about growing food so that next year, you won't be starting, you'll have a year of experience under your belt and you'll be that much better at it. Why wait for next year when you can start now and learn some things? Even if it's just one tomato plant, it doesn't have to be a full garden. You don't have to look at what I have and try to aspire to that your first year. I've had my own garden for the past six years. That's a lot of time that I've had to acquire knowledge and to learn how to do things. You don't have to do that your first year. So one year from now, you can have an entire year of experience of growing your own food. Whereas if you don't start now, then a year from now, you're gonna be starting off from scratch. You're still gonna be just as overwhelmed and concerned as you are now. And you're gonna be going, why didn't I start last year? And gardening is incredible stress relief. So on the topic of how crazy 2020 was and what the heck is the new normal, um, stressful much? Like people are working from home who have never worked from home now. 
People have time now that they didn't have before. People's schedules are different. We're all home more. We all wanna to go to the grocery store less than we did before. And a garden is yours. It belongs to you. So no matter what happens in our economy, if you have a great garden started and you've laid a foundation and you have been working towards that goal of growing your own food, nobody can take that from you. Even if our economy plummets, even if a new virus breaks out and we all have to stay home again, even if things go absolutely nuts and the whole world falls apart, if you still have your growing space, you still have your livelihood, your food, your love, your stress relief, your corner of peace in the yard. There can be an entire world going on outside the front of my house. I live near a corner and so there's constant traffic going by. There's a grocery store right down the street, but I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff because everything that I need and everything that I want is right here. I still feel totally calm and and at peace and comfortable with the world because I know that my garden is right there waiting for me. I have a bunch of food on the shelf from last year that I canned up from last year's harvests. I have seedlings in the greenhouse ready to plant as soon as the weather warms up. And it's just such a fulfilling and wholesome feeling to know that I have all of these things right here in my backyard. Growing food is a lifelong skill. Once you know how to grow a tomato, you know it forever. It doesn't go away. Again, nobody can take it from you. Even if, again, the stores are empty, the shelves are empty, or the economy plummets, or we go into another recession, or we go into a depression, you have that skill of growing food, you'll always know how to grow food. Being in a garden and working the dirt and planting your veggies and pruning and harvesting, it all makes you feel closer to nature. So again, like me living in a neighborhood, a lot of you probably live in neighborhoods, it makes you feel like you're somewhere else. It's a great way to kind of escape the hustle and bustle and the craziness of the world. In a modern society where we're constantly bombarded on social media by information and content and things that are just flying at us all the time, when you're out in your garden, it all goes away. Everything gets kind of quiet and you're just there with the plants and you can hear the birds and you can see the bees buzzing around and it's, really it's a great it's a wonderful act in a way to be closer to nature and closer to god i'm hearing more and more often and especially this year even more than last year people are saying i want to start growing food and i have no idea why so you are the people that i'm talking to start your garden use the resources that you have available to you whether that's me or whether that's someone totally different i'm not here to just plug my business i'm saying start a garden because it's important do it for your kids do it so that your kids know how to grow food. Do it so that you have something to provide to your neighbors or to your family if anybody else falls into hard times. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it because it's something that we all need to know how to do. It's important. Growing food is essential to life. Being reliant on grocery stores should not be essential to life. So if you're the type of person who likes to have some sort of contingency plan or something that you're going to fall back on if the world falls apart. I definitely think that you need to have gardening in your arsenal. You need to have that as a tool in your back pocket, something that you can whip out and have available to you at all times. And with that, stay tuned. I We have a new greenhouse. How exciting is that? I am going to do a greenhouse tour soon. I'll let you guys know how we built it and just give you an idea of what's going on there. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope y'all have a great day and I will talk to you soon.